Toy More adult toys than your mother. The Toy Chronicle. How you doing guys? Um, new week, new review. Just got these three juicy ones from um, Collect and Display. They finally arrived. I didn't pre-order them from my jokes themselves. Helped out my main man at Collect and Display. Thanks for shipping them out. So, I've waited about six months for these. Possibly longer. Can't. They released the Shadow ones at uh, uh, Singapore, I think. But these are the original ones. I didn't buy the shadow ones because I just like the OG colors. So shall we unbox number one, number two, or number three? Let's do number one, Raku Day. Let's check out the box. Let me get a bit of better lighting. Okay, so these stand around four inches. Pretty cool. Nice artwork by Hook. These are made from PVC. Uh, quite a few shops still have them on pre order or they've actually arrived. That's why I've got one already. Um, so let's get this open. Hopefully, I'll probably destroy the box, probably. Most definitely. Is there any tape? Uh, can't even get it open. The wonders of live TV. Huh? Let me bite it with my tiger teeth. Cool. Finally, we have it open. So yeah, they've already teased uh, the torsin and the gold claws. Hopefully, they will be released really soon as well. I'm liking the backdrop. Great for photos. If you follow me on Big Toy Poo, you should know that I take photos. So this one's the first one. Nicely packaged, secure. So the like I said, these are made from PVC. Oh, these are quite heavy to be honest. Very heavy. Let me see if I can get that lighting for you guys. A bit close up. Quite bendy. I don't want to pull that. Pink tarnish there. I'll get that off anyway. But yeah, how cool is that? So articulation, not much. But it'll be standing on my shelf anyway. Pretty clean. Maybe the edges a bit, but that's just me scrutinizing it. Bit of paint. Excess. Love this sculpt. Pretty please. These retail for, I think it was $25 each. But it looks like Hook and Mighty Jacks will be getting my money because I'm a fan of Hook G's Ninja Style. Seems pretty good. Just a little overpaint, but when it's standing on the shelf, not too bad. Really heavy, actually. Seriously heavy. But like I said, bit clumsy with the paint. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be there. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. So that's the first one. Do you want to have a look compared to the old dunnies? So this is compared to the old dunnies. Four inches, it seems like a bit bigger than four inches. I reckon five inches, to be honest. Five inches on a good day. All right, let's get the second one open. So let's get the Raccoon Knight. Him down. Let's try and fight open this box again. So the actual packaging, I think it makes a scene, which is pretty damn cool. Unless it's just day and night. Alright, it's not a scene. It's just day and night. Let's try and get this open again. You know what? Seriously, I'm gonna destroy these boxes. Sorry guys. If you're screamish, but I don't collect the boxes, even though it's nice artwork. Oh, let's get this tiger teeth open. Yes. Check out the claws. So, this one, you can put these in. 
let's see how hard it is to put it in. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Rubbery texture. Nice. This was finished off a lot better, to be honest. The, the, the day one, not as good quality finish, but it's my jokes. So let's put the second one on. Pretty cool, right? I like the little paintwork right there. So you can pick up all the details. Love this sculpt, to be honest. Good job that it's not resin, because I know Mighty Jacks does a lot of resin stuff. Prefer the PVC. At least if I drop the damn thing, it won't break. Two of them together. Let's get a bit closer. For 20 odd quid. Definitely gonna buy. For sure. Look nice on display. Compared to the day, the paint job is a lot better. Um, more happy. I like all the little accessories there. They're not movable, but still great. Can't wait to take photos of these. Shall we get the third one open? The Skull Collector. Move these to the side. So this one looks insane. Um, I'm a skull man. But as you can see already in the box, there's a lot more paint application on there. So different artwork compared to the other three. Let's admire the artwork. Hook has illustrated. Yeah, that's enough of that. Look at this bad boy. Hook G's famous wings at the back and his skull head that we've seen over and over again. But yeah, look at that. I think the paintwork for this one, the skull head, is the best one out of three. Look at that chopper. Like I said, nicely weighted, so it's not top heavy. Well, it is top heavy, but it sits down a little bit down. Pretty damn cool. PVC, not bad, huh? Good paint up, not much overspill. There's a little bit of blur, but hey, come on, you're not paying hundreds of quid, are you? Look at these three. Let me try and get them all down. Sorry about shaky cam. I'm trying to adjust the camera. Would I buy? Definitely. Um, I'll put all the links below where you can buy them. It should be all sent to the to the retailers now. Mike Jacks themselves have sold out. Um, so, like I said, there's two more already being teased. Um, I don't know what size, what run, but the Toy Chronicle always has um, the news, obviously. So, like I said, compared to a three-inch dunny, it's pretty damn huge. Overall, definitely four out of five. If the paint was a bit better, probably give it a five. But that's just me scrutinizing every little paint crap and overspill. But yeah, really, really happy with these. Uh, I'll put all the release details, guys, um, later on. And enjoy the series. Ciao for now. Bye.